Hi, Mahisha here from Kelex Naturals. And uh, this you see me mixing here is my lye solution. Yes, and what you see in chunky in it is papaya and carrots. That was frozen and now it's in there. My battery is dying. Let me get back to you. <laughs> Sorry guys. Hi, Makisha here and I am making my papaya and carrot soup and my battery died so I'm back with you. Good thing about batteries. So I'm just gonna sh get back to my light solution which is what I was showing you originally and all that. This was a frozen set of water. So I have bamboo silk in here and my carrot and papaya that was frozen and as you can see it's a bit chunky as it was frozen because this was probably well pureed but anyway next this is my oils and I have my Kylie clay dung in there so let's get this all mixed up and see what we have <coughs> I had make a batch of these. The uh, I think it was Boxing Day. Um, 52 of it, and all 52 is gone because I end up with an order. And I know I promised somebody that when that batch was cured, they're gonna get it. But I'm so sorry about that. It was a flat order. I didn't even have one remain. And now I'm doing the next batch, so I know it's, you know, it's probably bad. Yeah. If I have somebody waiting so long, it just totally, totally slips me. And I didn't have it right down in my order book either, so I'm so sorry about that. Okay, now I'm just gonna... Ooh! Holy crap! See that guys? I'm spilling lie everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Ooh, 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 ooh. On my foot, on my foot, on my foot. Holy, ooh. Okay. Okay. Clean my foot up, clean the counter down, put that in the sink. Okay, okay. uh, spoon to mix. Oh, there you are. So my stick blender doesn't get down to the bottom of this bucket when I add my light solution, it's too high and I don't want to spoil my stick blender. So I always give it a stir and then I come back in with the stick blender. Guys, I'm sorry about the moving around with the camera. I am holding the camera with one hand. I think that's why I nearly spilled my lap. Almost look like pumpkin pure puree. It's really nice. Okay. 
Okay, so this is not a fancy batch of soap. Uh, set this down just a bit right about there. You know, have you seen so much of the things in the background? What is that? Oh, that's my box. Okay. Um. Da -da -da -da. So I have my mold hair, this hair. I'm just gathering two jugs so I can pour just a little bit in these two jugs just to do a little color variation. I'll let you guys see this in a minute. All right. Nope, a little more. Oh, crap. <sighs> Pour it back. <laughs> I didn't add my, my scent in here. So now, let me add my scent. This batch calls for eight ounces or 7.6, which to me is eight. So we're gonna put eight ounces in here. And this is a essential and fragrance oil mixture. So this is my own blend and it is fabulous. A bit of patchouli, a bit of sweet orange, a bit of jasmine essential oil. This is a fabulous mixture. And funny enough, with those three essential oils, I mixed it with a bubble gum fragrance. <laughs> yeah, quite a mixture, eh? and take Ooh. smells good And I don't have a design for this soap, so what I wanted to do, right now I'm even changing my mind on that. I was going to put it yellow and orange, which probably is still probably a good plan. Just put a yellow and orange swirl in there. I think I'm going to still do that. Ooh, left. Just a bit of time. Today is actually Carnival Monday. <laughs> I didn't juve or anything, so I've been home crocheting. That's not what I need to make. I'm a workaholic. Um, I did have a really good Valentine's though. 
on Valentine's Fall during the carnival season. I went to Texas, De La Brazil, in movie town, and that was good. It was a very enjoyable Valentine's night. So, we're gonna. I'm gonna do some orange. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing in a sec. But my tripod is broken, so I always have to prop the camera with a bottle. Yeah, I know. And I really do have more important things to be buying at the moment. Yep. Like I purchased some molds today and Bramberberry, the circle color mold, so I can't wait to get that. Yeah. The cylindrical mold to make my circle so. So that's a nice peachy orange. I'm not sure if you've seen that good, but there it is. and find a new tripod as soon as the carnival cool down is over this smells so good you can smell the patchouli you can smell the bubblegum actually it's really really nice and my soap mixer is getting really really thick Putting my spatula back in the water. Okay. Right. And that was this color I just mixed up. Nice mustard, yellow, orange color. Yeah. So now we have these two and the buckets so let's move these out the way and put the mold in position This way. Let's see if I can get it to stay better. You see my mold at all? <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Good. There's the mold. Let me move it down a bit. I'm not gonna get a good high view. But we work on that. So I need to turn. Ooh. Ooh. And again, the gloves are staring me in the face, but it's not on my hand. Anyway, I'm mixing, mixing, mixing the buckets. I'm always washing my hands while making the soap. I think this didn't even need a color. It has a nice off yellow tint that I like. Okay, we're gonna do
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not much of a talker today. It's super, super warm. You know, you're in the Caribbean, you're thinking, yeah, you live there. You should be used to the heat. But, oh my gosh, I think my house is a furnace. Okay, I have so much soap to make and I have been taking my gracious, my gracious time with it. These are super, super thick. Just want to spread it on the top not actually to make layers but you know just so not so that it's not a boring boring soap I have to find something that I can use as a hang soil in this big mold. I don't have nothing that I can use. I don't have a wire hanger. I don't even know where to get a wire hanger. I don't, they don't sell those anymore. At least I don't know where to get one. I haven't seen any selling anywhere. Anything with jasmine kind of uh, thickens up really fast, but I don't panic. When I now start making soup, I used to panic, <laughs> but I don't anymore. I know it's going to be workable with the mixture that I did, so it's going to be perfect if I was doing, you know, proper layers. So I don't even panic anymore. I don't bother. I trust myself panicking. This smells so good. You can smell the orange. I love the mixture of the jasmine and the bubblegum and the patchouli. It is just so, so nice. I like essential oil and fragrance mix. I don't do them often, but I do like it. I think it's just been a nice calm few days. I have no lotion since December, since the Christmas markets and events. I finally got some preservative in a few days ago. I just wasn't in a rush because I have no markets doing. So I'm going to do up all my lotions today, bottle them out, and I can always label them another time. I think that's the only soap I'm going to make right now. Tomorrow, please God, Carnival Tuesday, I'm going to be at Mass. So I'm going to take a few pictures. I'll be doing a video to all the pretty costumes. It's going to have out and about. Right. So that's it, guys. Plain and simple. When you cut it, it's not going to be anything fancy.
there we go I'm just gonna add some glitter take some pictures and that's it so thank you guys for watching this is not my best video bye guys